The results section is where you describe the data that was collected in your study. This is where you will reveal the outcome of your research. Now, what goes into the results section and how long it is will depend on the type of study you did and the type of data you collected. For example, if your study involved surveys, then you might include descriptive statistics such as means or standard deviations. On the other hand, if your study involved experiments, then you might report the results of statistical tests such as t-tests or ANOVAs. For more information on how to report different types of results, please see the APA publication manual and check out the links below. If you included tables or figures in your research paper, the results section is where you could refer to them. For example, you could write, as shown in figure one, or see table one. Having tables and figures in your research paper can help you organize your data and can simplify what you have to write in your results section. According to APA style, tables and figures should be placed at the very end of the paper, after the references. When writing the results section, it's especially important to organize everything in a logical manner. You should make sure that each of your results is very clearly described. There should be no confusion in the type of data you're writing about, what statistical tests you used, or what the actual results were. You should also remember that your main goal is to report what you found, not to interpret it. Most interpretation should go in the discussion section. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below. And for more on research papers, please visit the UCSD Psychology website.